Here we are live with Brad Buckner and Glenn Woods host with KGAB Cheyenne. They are the fire department. All the locals up there, um, there's locals all over within 50 miles of our fire hall up at Army Peak that are also volunteer fire departments and then they have their trucks and things stationed at their house. So we have to raise money for our fire hall, the trucks, tires. Uh, cost us $100 an hour to have the state forester come work on the trucks to do things that we can't do. Okay. So the poker run happens when? Well, that's uh, May the 25th. It's Memorial Day weekend. Uh, you can come up on Friday, leave on Sunday. There's places to camp. Uh, we do have porta bodies around the station there for all the people. A big meal at the end of it. Big meal. Nice. Yeah, okay. big meal. Um, and the, with the uh, poker hand, you also get a meal. And the poker hand is $40. That's your entrance fee. Uh, last year, first place was actually $2,400. Now you can bring, I also noticed, any kind of vehicle. So last year, again, you got me out of the I've never done it before. I've got to my I mean, a road that is above my capabilities, but again, I didn't die. And we went all the way up to the tower at the top of the mountain. And this year, I'd like to try a different kind of vehicle, even if I'm just a passenger. Right. People show up in every kind of vehicle. Yeah, side-by-sides, razors, uh, things like that, you know, your Can-Ams, your quads. Uh, there is some Jeeps that, uh, you know, people take up there. I'm not I'm not a big advocate for the Jeeps because some of them are pretty tight, narrow places. Uh, but just come up, you know, side-by-sides and quads. Uh, you know, they're great. Yeah. Where do they get in on the poker run? Do you have any online presence for their kids to go ahead and sign up? Yeah, well, you do have Facebook, and then you can call uh, Tiny Walker at 307 5650, and she's the one that takes, she's kind of like the head of the thing, uh, and you can get a uh, request to have tickets sent to you, you write a check, send it back, she'll send you the stub, so you can get it all done without being there. And then I have a, an article on the website, kgab.com, so just go there, all the information here right. with the links. Now, here's the, the one, this is really a the buffalo hunt. Most people never get a yeah. chance to do that. Same cause the fire station. But tell me about the buffalo hunt. Well, the buffalo hunt is a little ways from the fire hall. It's about 10 miles. And it's put on by uh, Larry and Peggy Gerke. They own the uh, Twin Pine Ranch. And it's been around for about 100 years. It used to be about 27, 28,000 acres. Now, Larry and Peggy, uh, they split the ranch up amongst the three or four girls and owned it. And Larry and Peggy have 13,000 acres. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't really even get to see a, an American bison, you know, buffalo. Um, so the buffalo hunt, you can actually call the same number, 307-322-5650, and request tickets to the buffalo hunt. You get a year and a half old bull. Uh, that's the processing, uh, tour of the ranch, everything. Uh, the hunters have to be at least 14 years old. And then uh, can come with the hunter. So it's a, a lot of fun. You get to see the big old bulls. Uh, you know, you're looking at 2,000 pounds. And what's really funny about the buffalo is they're, they will actually uh, go off and hide. Um, and the biggest one, the oldest one, they thought had died. They hadn't seen it in five months. And one day it appears back out in open. Yeah. So it hid itself in the ravines, in the trees, in the brush, wherever, but they hadn't actually seen it on the ranch for five months. That is a beautiful area. I understand why people have lived there for so many generations. It's so beautiful. You were telling someone earlier that to get not just the tickets for the hunt, but to get onto those ranches, not just anybody can get on those ranches and see. So this is a rare privilege to win this. Right. Uh, they keep it pretty pristine. Larry and Peggy have kept this ranch uh, Basically, just like it, you know, it's um, it's like a wilderness area in a sense. They won't even let you drive on and look at the elk and take pictures. They don't want the animals disturbed at all. So you have to be invited onto the ranch uh, to see. You know, I started seeing the ranch 50 years ago uh, because I'm family up there, um, and, and it's really something to see, actually. Okay, phone number again where they can get a hold of either the poker run or buffalo. Okay, both the poker run or the buffalo hunt would be area code 307 322 5650. Okay, now let's talk about the business because you were holding up a piece of paper and you took a big old knife and a little knife too, yeah. and you just cut right through that paper like it wouldn't even there. 
Yeah. Um, you know, sharpensbest.com has been around for about six years now. The sharpener's been around for 29 years, and it's a piece of uh, tungsten carbide. And um, the way that I manipulate the carbide down the blade, uh, I can either make a blade out of a piece of tin, which means I put more pressure on it, or I can hone a blade. Um, so whether it's a little tiny pocket knife or a big Bowie knife, um, I sharpen them up. And if you go to sharpensbest.com, you can go to YouTube, Sharpens Best. I've got 3,400 videos on YouTube and uh, over 9 million views now. One of the videos is over 2 million views. One of them's at like 1.6 or 1.7 million views. Um, so if you want to sharpen knives, axes, hatchets, hook shovels, blind blades, draw knives, printers, edge trimmers, scissors, take a look at sharpensbest.com and I'll show you a tool that'll work on 55 different types of knives, blades, and tools. Now, I would, I did when I was in college, I was doing radio, I did a little part time job at a cutlery shop in all, and I found out not just a lot about blades and metal and so on. But there's a certain way to sharpen a knife. I mean, and some people start to sharpen and they end up doing more damage to it. Yeah, if you don't keep the bevel right, I use about a 10 degree bevel on each side, so inclusive it's a 20 degree bevel. You get over 20 degrees, the knife isn't going to be so sharp. It will be tough, but it won't be so sharp. And believe it or not, a lot of people that come through my booth area down there have no idea how to sharpen a knife. And their knives are dull, they haven't sharpened the knife in a year. Uh, they say, well, when I get home, I can't remember to sharpen my knife. Then they go out the next day, they use it again and again. And then a month, uh, some people literally say, I'll bet it's been a year since I've sharpened well, my knife. It's one thing if it's just a kitchen knife, but for people who are ranchers and yep. hunters and fishermen and all sorts of other lines of work, I mean, there's a lot of reasons that people have to carry knives right. and use them. So if you're cutting through all sorts of rope, yeah. again, the animals, the fish, and bone, and things like that, yeah. you need to keep it in shape. Well, you do, because you know what, in Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, you know, Nebraska, places where you actually farm and ranch, uh, you need a knife to cut things, whether it's string, boxes, paper, tape, rope. Uh, you know, if you uh, ride a horse for a living and, and you use a lariat and you rope a 2,000-pound bull and he happens to get that horse turned over and he's still got a rope around his neck and your horse is down and the rope is over your leg, you better be able to get a hold of that pocket knife and cut that rope or you and the horse could get killed, or you're at the least going to get the heck beat out of you. Yeah, okay. So sharpensbest.com is where they find you online. Yep. So check out those YouTube videos. And if people walk into the place, how do they find you? You're like right down the middle. Aren't you? I'm right down the middle. If you come in the south entrance to our ice arena here, um, you can come uh, a little bit to the right, and then right down the middle on the right-hand side towards the back a little bit. You can't miss me, i got a great big orange banner up there. You take a guess what the orange banner has on it. Uh, and it does say sharpenbest.com. I'm easy to find because I have the messiest table and messiest booth in the place. I did. Yeah. Sam 650 KGAB. It sharpens better than all the rest. Sharpen your tools with sharpensbest.com, that is. <laughs> all right, hey, Glenn, it's good to see you, bud. It's good to see you, man. I hope to see you up at the poker run, oh, too. Oh, definitely will be at that oh, yeah. poker run. Man, yeah. I'm glad you didn't die last year. No, I didn't die. That okay. was the goal. Okay. So that was I, the goal. I achieved my goal. I didn't die. Now, this time, I want some different kind of vehicle, and I don't care yeah. if I'm a passenger. I'm going to get you one. I'll yeah, get you. I, if I'm in a side-by-side, -side, whatever. Yeah. I just want to experience something different. The, yeah. the poker runs are great. Oh, they are. That's yeah. a lot of fun. Let's get you back to work, mister. Yeah. All right. Come let's on. go. Go. Right, yes, Lead right. the way. Thanks, bud. All right. Follow me. <laughs> All right, kids, let's go. Yeah. Look at her work. <laughs> Put pressure on it. Like this one, yeah, you just hold it and you'll go like that. Beautiful. Oh, all right. Thanks, Brad, for that <laughs> right. spot. Yeah, you take care, and we'll see you at sharpensbest.com. See you on YouTube. Come down to the Ice Arena here, Home and Garden Show, Cheyenne, Wyoming. We'll see you later.